Hello from San Antonio, this is Siren Tarot. Welcome back to another Pick a Card Reading. What does he think about when he thinks about you? What does she think about when she thinks about you? This reading is timeless, and for this reading there are four different options. This is option one. These are ACOs that I got from eBay. 2022 series, absolutely abstract, Karen Warren. Option two, another ACO from Karen Warren's 2022 series. Option three, same series, same artist. And Quattro, option four. Another ACO from Karen Warren's 2022 series. As always, timestamps will be provided. Don't overthink it. Just think of your person of interest. Take a deep breath and make your selection. If you chose the first card, here is your reading. Starting with Cap Black's Golden Tarot, Three of Cups, Thrace the Copas, The Moon, La Luna, Five Cups, Cinco de Copas, Those the Oros, Two of Pentacles. Cinco de Copas, again. Three of Cups, again. It's crazy, okay. The Pocket, Wild Unknown. I never can recall the name of this deck. Father of Pentacles, Ray de Oros. Strength, Leo. Ace of Pentacles, Os de Oros. Okay, this pile is quite murky. I'm not sure exactly what's going on here. To have Five of Cups twice but with Three of Cups twice, that's just, those are two very different energies. Three of Cups is casual, that's friendly. That could be friends with benefits, it could be a situationship. Five of Cups suggests a really deep bond and a big loss. I mean, it's the card of unrequited love, usually, depending on the context. But in this context, it's just, I don't know what's going on here, but I would say that Probably at one time, this was a deep connection and something went wrong here because there's so much sadness. I mean, I would say that you friend zoned this person and they're sad about that or it started off really intense and then you started drifting apart and it became casual. You just hooked up on occasion. Could be an on again, off again relationship. But this is, I assume, if you chose Pile 1, if you're watching this reading, this is someone that you're interested in. So I'm going to do an energetic summation. But just based on these cards, I would say that their thoughts of you are sad. There's a sense of loss. It looks like they're missing you, so I would assume you're in separation.
And probably if you chose pile one, this is someone you've known for years. This is not someone you just started talking to a few months ago. This would be someone you've known for probably, I would say two years or longer. But I'm going to do a three card energetic summation. What do they think about when they think about you? Three of Cups again. Mother of Wands. The Hanged Man. Okay, going out on a limb here, but I would say, for most of you, probably, the Five of Cups energy is coming from you. So, when this person thinks about you, they know that you were a lot more emotionally invested than they were. I feel like it is past tense. I don't feel like you're currently in communication. They feel bad on some level because they couldn't provide you with what you need. Okay, they may have kept things casual. You wanted a deeper connection. So you put more into this relationship than they did. And on some level, they do feel bad about it. But at the same time, they're not going to change. They're not going to just wake up tomorrow and have this epiphany. Oh, I need to be with that person. That's my person. They're not going to just wake up and have these deep feelings. Okay. So I feel like the Five of Cups is about you really missing this person and wanting something more, but they took a more casual see ya when I see ya approach. And again, it could be on again, off again. You got together for a good time and then you decided to block this person because you knew that they weren't really feeling it, but you were. So I'm seeing possibly some blocking, unblocking, harsh words exchange, and then you rethink it, you second guess yourself, and you allow this person back into your life. But I don't feel like you communicated in quite some time. And with the hanged man, I don't see this person changing at all. It's just going to be a kind of karmic loop where you're repeating the same dynamic over and over again until you decide that you can do better than this. I mean, I don't see any malicious intent from this person. I don't see them being um, manipulative or a player or whatever. I just see two people who want two very different things. You invested, they didn't. And they feel bad, but they're not going to change. A possible astral combo for this person, all this water. They could have Sun in Pisces, Cancer rising, Moon in Leo. Just one possibility. Oops. Why? Why? Where did you go? Gracias. Okay. Three is Sagittarius. Five is Mercury, Gemini, Virgo. Eight is Capricorn. Four is Aquarius. Nine, Aries. Seven, Pisces. So we have seven and five. So that's 12. Three is actually the dominant number making Sagittarius the energy. So could be third party broken record. I say that a lot, but it's common. It happens a lot. So it could be third party or it could be, again, um, they just wanted to keep it loose and casual and you wanted a deeper connection. LOA, Law of Attraction, Law of Assumption. When clients are stuck and they come back again and again for the same situation, the same person, I have recommended LOA channels, manifest an SP, that's all the rage. But at the end of the day, bottom line, I don't believe in that. I don't believe 
that you can do robotic affirmations two hours a day or whatever and change someone's feelings for you. That's messing with someone's free will, and I'm not really about that. Now, I did manifest all of my relationships. It was always intentional. But I wasn't trying to will a certain person back into my life. I was creating something new with someone I'd never met. So, yeah, I'm not a fan of the LOA coaches at YouTube, the robotic affirming. Now, to contradict myself, I do use affirmations and subliminals for money for success but even that that's mixed results it's not always consistent but yes we do create our reality um oh we have laura okay we have laura and laura two different spellings But I am an Aquarian. I'm all about conducting experiments. So just get crazy with it and conduct an experiment if you're of that mindset and you want to will someone back into your life. Do the robotic affirmations and just see what happens. Anything else? Lava, Hawaii. To no avail. You've tried and tried to no avail. You're just not compatible. There's a lack of compatibility. There's a lack of understanding here. And there's a slag of energy. It's very sluggish and low vibration. But yeah, that's what I see for pile one. I hope that helps. I do this full time. I'm always available for private readings. All the info's in every box. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out. And if you chose two, here is your reading, starting with Cat Black, Scoat, and Tarot. I've had this tarot deck the longest. I don't recall. I must have gotten it on Amazon, but it was years ago, probably 2013. Page of Wands, so did the Bastos. Page of Swords, so did the Espadas. Ace of Cups, Ostacopas. Never can recall the name of this deck. But I like it because it's an Espanol. Uno mas. Siete de Copas, Seven of Cups, Seven's Pisces. Ray de Oros, King of Pentacles. There's the Bastos, Ten of Wands, Ten is Leo. The Pocket, Wild Unknown. So I've started live streaming at Psycho Tarot with my husband. We've been doing collabs. Uh, he does the runes and I do the tarot. So check that out if you're so inclined. Zodiac readings, etc. Psycho Tarot. It was extra basic tarot for years, and I changed it this year to Psycho Tarot. Eight of Swords, Ocho de Espadas, Eight of Capricorn, Father of Swords, Ray de Espadas, King of Swords. Ooh, Ten of Cups, the Estacopas, Ten Leo. Okay. This person is deeply infatuated with you. They're thinking about you. They could be fantasizing. They could be dreaming of you. Um, oh, wow, that's strong. We have the two signifiers. I mean, technically, pages are signifiers, but that's very young, fresh energy. I look at knights and kings and queens. We have these two signifiers together in the middle, king of pentacles and king of swords. So you could be an air sign. Your person of interest could be an earth sign. I'll call out possible astro combos later. But uh, this is serious. This is serious energy. So if you chose pile two, you could be 
married to this person right now. You could be living together. You could be Capricorn the goat. Could be engaged. People watch these readings for a variety of reasons. There are people who are in really good, healthy, happy relationships who watch these readings just for fun, boredom, curiosity, entertainment, whatever. But you could have a couple of kids together, taking a literal interpretation of the two pages. They can be kids. Uh, this is fated. This is destined. This is probably a soulmate. It's like that song, baby. When I think about you, I think about love. When they think about you, you think about love. Feel like making love. Yeah, I see you and this person making love, not having sex. It's not casual. Um, I don't see any conflict here. I don't see any darkness. This is all light. See, Ten of Wands, there's Saturn. So yeah, obviously wands, fire, but this card is associated with Saturn, Capricorn. It's putting in the hard work, and that's really strong to have the two tens together like that, an ace and two tens. So I feel like you've both invested in this relationship, and you've shown up, and you've been adults, and you've been mature, and you've not been working things out. You got all that stuff out of your system in your 20s and 30s. You're probably older if you chose pile two, or you're just wise beyond your years, you have maturity. I don't see any game playing or cheap manipulation. I don't see other people. I don't see a mess. This is very clean and decent. You show up with respect and you love each other. It's beautiful. This person could have Sun and Capricorn. Gemini rising, Moon and Aquarius, one possibility. You could have Sun and Aquarius, Leo rising, Moon and Cancer. But I see a lot of love. I see compatibility. Really good synastry. You probably have at least one significant conjunction. Something like Sun conjunct Moon, 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 Mercury, Mercury, Mars, Venus, uh, Venus, Saturn. If you look at the synastry of couples that have been married for years and years, there's going to be some Saturn in the mix. Venus, Saturn, Moon, Saturn. There are different opinions on that, but you're going to see Saturn with the couple that has stayed together. I talk a lot more. I go more in depth. <clears throat> Excuse me, at my Patreon. Five is Mercury, Gemini, Virgo. One is Leo, six is Venus. Another five, so ten, Leo. Oh, so Cancer is the energy. Two is the number. So yeah, Cancer, I feel like you have a family together. And there's deep caring here. Deep caring, deep love. Yeah, I'm what is called skinny fat. Uh, I'm fat in all the wrong places. I'm not really worried about it, but I am taking measures to lose weight at a very slow pace because my energy is very low. Lava again. Hawaii. Ava. Ava Gardner. Ava Gardner was a Capricorn. Uh I'm not seeing names that I'm familiar with. Okay. Get a couple more. Taurus. fault. A no-fault divorce, but I'm not seeing a divorce. I'm seeing a really happy marriage or relationship that's leading to marriage. Flat. That's what they call apartments in the UK. Flats. Almost half Flavia. 
had her as Thompson. Okay, that's what I see for two. Hope that helps. I do this full time. I'm always available for private readings. My second tarot channel, Psycho Tarot. I do have a Patreon. It's all in the box. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out. And if you chose three, here is your reading, starting with Cat Black's Go to Tarot. Oh my God, I'm stopped up. I need to steam my face over the stove. Okay, Ace of Wands, As de Bastos. Ten of Wands, de As de Bastos. The Tower, La Glory. I never can recall the name of this deck. And I don't see it much at other channels. In fact, I can't think of any other channel where I've seen this deck, but it's all kind of a blur. Very few channels stand out to me, just being honest. A lot of it just seems the same. Now, there is one reader who's popped into my feed lately, and I've subscribed to this guy's channel from a couple of different accounts. It's interesting. No one else, I've not seen anyone else read like him. I think he's called the Hermit Tarot. Um, he does live streams. He's got a small channel. But he has a very distinctive voice. And just the way he reads cards, it's definitely unique. Reina de Oros, Queen of Pentacles, Principe de Espadas, Prince or Page of Swords, Princess de Copas, Princess or Page of Cups, Pocket Wild Unknown, 1, 2, 3, 4, Make a Wish, that's my favorite angel number, 12, 34, it's 7, 8, 9, 10, oh, 1, Leo, okay, yeah. actually made that design at my red bubble storefront using some crazy font just 1234 five of pentacles cinco de oros five mercury gemini virgo four of wands got the bastos four is aquarius and the full el loco aquarius okay So, evidently, just based on these cards, you bring a lot to the table. When this person engages with you, there's very intense engagement. Uh, you don't half-ass your relationships. You bring a lot and you expect a lot. And so... There's a lack of stability here. To be blunt, this person feels like they can't always deal with you because your energy is so intense. Their energy is not quite as loud as yours. I see you being an extrovert. I see you being successful, having an active social life, having a very strong self-esteem. You're solid, you're stable, you're good. And this person lacks the stability that you have. They're not so confident. They could be an introvert, probably an introvert. I see them having low energy and they're not sure the two of you are exactly a match because you just outdo them. You are more successful. You're more vibrant. Uh, you're healthier than this person. I see this person struggling. There's a strong sexual attraction. When they think about you, you think about the sex you've had or your looks. They really like your looks. But also I see this person being lazy or low energy. They can't bring it consistently. 
um, they feel like this is too much work. If it was just sex, if it was just casual and sporadic, they could do that, but they can't, they can't really offer you anything substantial. I don't see consistent communication. I feel like if you had sex, that was in the past. I don't feel like you've had sex in months, maybe years. This person could be between jobs. They could be couch surfing and bottom line, I see that they have more than enough to worry about. They can't really focus on you and this connection right now because I see this person struggling for survival to be dramatic. They're just struggling with the basics, putting food on the table, showing up to work, coding down a job. They could be an addict. They could be a drug addict or an alcoholic. Uh, I see this person being frustrated. That Bruce Springsteen song comes to mind. One step forward, two steps back. Whatever they do, they can't get ahead. And they just don't feel great about themselves right now. I don't think you and this person were married. I mean, you could have been. I feel like there was a lot of sex at some point, but you could never pin this person down. You could never rely on this person. This is not really a match because, again, you're a lot healthier and stronger and more productive, energetic in general than this person. This is not a good match. You may have met on a dating app or social media and there was a really strong sexual attraction and the fascination of opposites, but I don't see the two of you having enough in common to make a go of this, to have a substantial, successful, gratifying, long-term relationship. Their natal chart is probably a big mess. It's all over the place. They have a lot of blocks. They could have a lot of squares and oppositions in their chart. So they could have Sun and Aquarius, Aries rising, Moon and Capricorn, just one possibility. Um, you could have Sun and Aries, Virgo rising, Moon and Gemini. These are just possibilities. Four is Aquarius, three Sagittarius, seven is Pisces, six is Venus, ten, one, Leo, nine, Aries. So four is the number making Aquarius the dominant energy. I feel like you're a lot more intelligent than this person. They could have a chip on their shoulder because they didn't graduate from high school or they got their GED and you have an advanced degree, perhaps. I feel like you come from very different backgrounds. I feel like you were supported, you were loved, you were well taken care of, and this person had to just fight for survival from an early age. They have a lot of baggage is what I'm getting. Finn. I don't feel like this person is mentally or physically fit. I don't see them being proactive in doing what they need to do to change, to have a better life. RN, you could be an RN. I don't see this person being an RN. You have to work your ass off to be an RN. I couldn't do it. Um, far, could be long distance. Is this a name? I don't know. Rafi? This person could be pale with blonde hair, blue eyes. I don't usually focus on physicality. That just jumped out. Okay. Quinn. Missing the U. Quinn. Quan. 
Okay, yeah, that's what I see for three. Hope that helps. I do this full time. I am always available for private readings. All the info's in every box. Thanks for watching. Peace out. And if you chose Quattro, four. That is so gorgeous. Here is your reading starting with Cat Black's Go to Tarot. I am so stopped up. Gotta steam my face over the stove after I upload this. Knight of Cups, Caballo de Copas, King of Coins, Rain of Oros, Four of Wands, Quattro de Bastos. That is strong to have the two signifiers together, the first two cards out. Let's see how this goes. I keep forgetting what this deck is called. Oh, this is one of my longer readings. I'm looking at the time, it's over 31 minutes. There are readers who read for an hour or longer, two hours, and I just, I can't, I cannot. So if it's over 30 minutes, for me, that's a long reading. Uno más. Siete de Basto, Seven of Wands, Seven is Pisces, La Justicia, Justice, El Mago, the Magician, Pocket, Wild Unknown. The Oros, Ace of Pentacles, Strength, Leo, and Father of Pentacles. King of Pentacles twice. King of Pentacles twice. There could be an age gap. I feel like this person is the King of Pentacles. You're the Knight of Cups, so they could be a few years older. I see this person being resistant. And it's funny because before... I got out of bed. I thought, okay, I need to do a pick a card. Uh, it's been a few days, but I do not want to say third party. I'm not going to say third party. I get so tired of saying third party, but I'm seeing third party. So, looks like this person is married and it's serious, or it could be status quo. There's a lot of money at stake, kids, etc. They can't just walk away from it. Um, I see them being resistant to you. Okay, so it could be situationship, could be you get together on occasion for sex, but this person is not investing emotionally. They are very closed off. They are quite emotionally unavailable. So just being blunt, just keeping it real, they don't think of you often. They have a lot on their plate. They have a very busy, demanding life. I see a high-stress career. I see a family. I see a lot of responsibilities, a lot of money at stake. When they do think about you, I would say that it's sexual. They have you in a specific category, and they keep you there. This person's not messy. They're very uh, strategic, methodical. Their life is extremely organized. Um, this is not someone who just sits around and binge watches TV or movies. This is not someone who sits around and gets stoned and plays video games. This person is high functioning. They could be a lawyer, politician, uh, business owner, manager, CEO, accountant, fill in the blanks. This person has a lot of money. They take money seriously. This person does not play. So they contact you when they want a diversion, a distraction, when they want a good time. They could have, I feel like they have a lot of fixed energy. They could have Sun and Taurus, Leo rising, Moon and Taurus. Their astral combo could be all fixed. Okay. 
you're a lot more romantic than this person. You could have Sun in Pisces, Taurus rising, Moon in Cancer, just possibilities. But keep in mind, this is a pick a card reading. I'm reading for a universal, universal, a global audience. So if it doesn't resonate at all, pick another pile. I'm always available for private readings, but any tarot reading you see should be taken with not a grain of salt, a chunk of salt. Heavy, heavy emphasis at this channel on entertainment purposes. Or lately, I guess, educational purposes, because I talk a lot about astrology and I have a book on the way from Amazon. It's a book on psychology and astrology, and I'm a sucker for both. So two is Cancer, four is Aquarius. Oh my God, that never happens. If you were in Vegas, you'd be a winner. Three twos. So that's six, Venus. I don't see this person being in love with you. I don't see that. But uh, they can see your value. They can see that you're attractive. There's no doubt about that. There is a sexual attraction. And Venus does roll Taurus. I'm getting strong Taurus vibes. I associate Ace of Pentacles with Taurus because Ace is the beginning and Taurus is the first Earth sign in the Earth Trinity. Ray. I'd rather be at home with Ray, Amy Winehouse. Fairy. Do you believe in fairies? This person does not. This person does not believe in fairies. They're probably... A materialist, they could be an atheist, agnostic. This person's not spiritual, just going by these cards. So yeah, that's what I see for four. Hope that helps. I am, I say this all the time like a broken record. I am always available for private readings. So I've got a red bubble storefront, over 2,500 designs. I have a second Tarot channel, Psycho Tarot. I did a live stream collab with my husband last night. Have Patreon. So it's all in the box. Thank you all so much for watching. Sending you massive love and light from San Antonio. Peace out.